Hey guys, how are we doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. So this is our Bitcoin evening wrap up. So we'll go to those charts. So yes, yeah, you guys would probably be aware, um, not a lot at all has happened today. Um, we pretty much stayed stayed around the same range, around nine thousand four hundred. Um, it's obviously not ideal because we are um, we're sat under resistance. Um, but we've had a few wicks down that have been brought back up. But um, but yeah, I mean, we just, it's been pretty much nothingness of a day. Um, so yeah, volatility is obviously right down. So I'm guessing we're just waiting for tomorrow to get some direction from the stock markets um, and and obviously the currency markets as well. See what's going on generally in the world um, before Bitcoin then decides um, on on its next move. Um, so yeah, 12 hour stokes though. Obviously, you guys know I think they're pretty important. Um, starting to look like they're going to turn back up, so um, we could start to get a move up here, um, which I think would be um, I think would be very useful for um, price. But um, a lot of the other time frames, though, um, four hour, um, three hour, uh, two hour, all looking all looking a bit um, a bit weak. So we're potentially going to have some um, more shorter term downside. I mean, it would it would kind of make kind of make sense. I mean, it's not what we really want to see us come back down touch touch this um support and this trend line and then bounce back up because obviously if we come down there we could break through but um it does look to me like we're potentially going to get a test down to this area this 9200 um and then it will be a case of how we react to it can we then can we use that to to basically be the starting point of an expansion of volatility trap some bears in maybe dip below this level dip below the trend line um like we did in some of these wicks and then have a have a sharp move back up um, that's obviously the ideal case for the bulls, but obviously that doesn't have to be how it works. I mean, we could dip below here, and it doesn't have to be a week. We can stay there, and um, then obviously if we sit around this nine thousand zone, I don't, I don't expect that to um, be a zone we then turn around from. We're then going to have to look to what finding support at lower prices. Um, so yeah, not 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 particularly not particularly ideal. Um, I do think there's a lot of um, there's a I mean the past few weeks have obviously been pretty clear in the stock markets. They've just been going up, so that's not really been something for Bitcoin to think about. But um, I think we could now we could potentially get a turnaround potentially in stock markets. Um, I do think Bitcoin is more looking to that that change, that potential change of direction for um, for basically direction itself. Um, in Bitcoin, so um, yeah, I mean, we've got to really wait for these markets to open. I mean, if nothing else, um, you can kind of see the this weekend we've we've done nothing price action wise, whilst uh, major markets have not really been open. So um, obviously we've got weekend Wall Street, which is still looking there or thereabouts. Um, but like I said, I mean that can affect Bitcoin price over the weekend. But where this actually does open, it can open anywhere. I've seen this be down and then open way up. I've seen it way up and open down. Um, that's just how that's just how that works. Um, range and stop. This is obviously, I mean, I would say this is perfect for range and stop. Uh, but even this is not enough volatility for range and stop because um, we're not really getting to the sort of extremes of the range like we did here and like we did here for some for some good trade entries. We are just in the middle of the range, and I mean, if you want to be trading these ranges, then fair enough. But um, I don't personally think that's the greatest idea. Um, I mean, the closest we got really here was a move down to just roughly 9,300. So this was near enough the bottom. You could have bought that up, um, especially on this candle here. Um, when you got the indication from the momentum direction that we we're potentially going to start moving back up, which we did. Um, yeah, but so that's the only real, um, the real spot. Um, that you could have put in a decent trade um, and that would have been a decent trade though would have got you from here from about um, 9,340 up to yeah it's roughly roughly a hundred dollar move and I know that's really not what a lot of people want to play for in this market uh, myself included but I mean that's just that's just the best move you're gonna have got in this market and at least range and stop and momentum direction signaled it to you um, so yeah um dmt <laughs> dominator dmt still in the cell line so it's still under the cell under the cell line um but that's coming down it's sub 9500 now um so yeah um obviously this this will be this will be where you'd buy um so uh, on the break of dmt so yeah it makes sense there's a 9500 um because obviously that is an important zone and you can see here the dominator just doesn't have a clue this is the larger time frame um same time frame one as well and a longer look back one um and it is it's like a, a larger time frame moving average think about it in that respect um but yeah um it's it's just 
buy, sell, buy, sell. I mean, it doesn't know what doesn't know what it's doing either because basically there's no volatility, so we can't really trade. And even range trading um, seems to uh, be going out the window at the moment. So I mean, that's it. Really, I, I really I don't have anything else to say. Um, um, because we don't have nothing else has happened since we lasted to be here this morning other than the 12 hour stokes are starting to look better So if we stay here or higher um, I'd imagine we're gonna start moving up But then if we stay here or, or well if you stay high if we get to like 9,500 break above there I expect we'll be moving up anyway um, But yeah again, I think we'll be taking our lead from the stock markets this this week um, because there is um, there's a there's a bit of indecision a bit of worry in the stock markets going on at the moment so yeah we'll have a quick look at that um just i had an easy jet on just having a look at having a look at easy jet um but yeah um you can see the levels we've got in the stock market we have got we have got a pretty nice doji candle though uh close on friday um and like i said that did that did um get a bit of liquidity taken out the low of, of the last dump down which which incidentally was a four hour nine so yeah i mean it's hard to say um candlestick analysis would tell me that yeah we're gonna move up um and then obviously this will be a clear buy level breaking above 3090 um for for just basically shots to well obviously above these highs um but i mean if we don't it's still an indecision candle it, it, it is obviously um more bullish than bearish but um if we take out this low um i imagine we're def we're gonna visit the 618 and then um see where we go see where we go after so um it will it will i guess it's gonna matter where um what happens whether we take this um upward move or whether we take this downward move um i do expect that is going to um is going to um, impact bitcoin i mean we quite clearly have um have a very obvious here four hour di four hour uh, bullish divergence here look with this low here and then this lower low with um, a clearly um a higher low in um, the rsi um so i think that is obviously gonna gonna help us with a bit of um a bit of potential upside before we would have potentially test any downside i mean if we are going to come down further um i mean maybe look for another test of the 786 or even even this trend line um which would be a bit on the punchy side um but hey these things can happen so um yeah bitcoin so yeah back to bitcoin so like i said um my guess i mean this is just a crystal ball guess um, that we're gonna come down test test here and then we're gonna gonna break back up um, but that that's just based on Bitcoin alone um, obviously if stock markets just tank we're probably we're gonna come down if stock markets go up I mean we'd, we'll probably go up in Bitcoin um, but we are expecting we're expecting fireworks soon we're expecting lower time frame and higher time frame and um, volatility um, to break out so be uh, be aware of that that when we do get a move it's potentially gonna have some have some legs so definitely don't um, don't start trying to rain trade that rain trade that one uh, right so there we go guys this is not financial advice I'm not a financial advisor um, always do your own research and I will speak to you guys in the morning